For those of you marking your catalogs for the Brown Swiss Yearling Heifer and Milk class, Entry 2761, Richie View Dare Bell Jingles, placed second, was also bred and owned and best uttered in the class. Entry 2762, placed fourth. Entry 2763, Edge View D Waverly, was first in the class, owned by Don Graft and Family of Oxford, Wisconsin. And entry 26 or entry 2768 placed third. For complete results from the Brown Swiss Show, visit World Dairy Expo's website, WorldDairyExpo.com. In the ring now is the Brown Swiss Summer Junior Two-Year-Old Cow Class. The first place award is presented by Triangle Acres of Freeport, Illinois. Bread and Owned Award will be presented by Jennings Gap Dairy, LLC, the Swope family of Churchville, Virginia. And the Best Uttered Rosette is presented by Cattle Connection, Steins, the Netherlands. The Junior Award in this class is presented by Pitt Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota.
placings are complete in this summer junior two-year-old cow class, at this time we'd like to recognize our winning junior exhibitors if they'd please take a step forward when I announce their names. Second place junior is entry 2781, Pit Crew Rasta Panama ET, exhibited by Abby Foss and owned by Pit Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota. The winning junior entry in the class is entry 2784, Summer Wind Flash J.E. Tame, exhibited by Tyler Schrepfer of Burnhamwood, Wisconsin. Third place honors in the class go to entry 2787. She is Hills Valley LT WDY Darling, exhibited by Hills Valley Farm and Lynn Telleck of Cattaraugus, New York. Second place in the class, entry 2780, VB Banquet Zest, exhibited by Vigley Farm Incorporated of Monticello, Wisconsin. And the winning entry, best utter and bread known in the class, is entry 2788, Eighth Day Ryan's GW Rhyme, exhibited by Aaron Olson of Racine, Minnesota. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge DeBruin, your comments on this class. Beautiful class in this inaugural, inaugural year of the Summer Junior Twos. Uh, I think this super style heifer kind of sorts herself to the top of the class. Uh, she goes over the, the uh, beautiful frame cow behind her. She's got so much sharpness, cleanness. She's so attractive out through the rump, leveler from hips to pins, cleaner through the hock. Uh, I also like the levelness on the floor of the udder on the cow in second. I will uh, grant that the cow behind her has a little bit deeper seam all the way through and a little bit more strength and power. Uh, cow in second, I told the young man leading her that it was very strategic that she wasn't broke to lead, so when she hops around, you can see that the udder doesn't move at all. It's tied on tight. But she goes over the cow behind her because of her advantage in frame. She's especially clean-legged, uh, longer frame cow, longer neck cow, a little more attractive through the head. Um, I did make the cow in third second best udder. She's just a little bit wider all the way through, a little bit more extension to the fore udder. I love the udder on the uh, cow in third. She goes over the cow in fourth because of the shape of her udder. She's got more length and firmness to the fore udder and the rear udder uh, travels up and ties on more neatly at the top of the rear udder over the ultra dairy cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth, extreme dairiness, uh, gets her over the big powerful cow in fifth. She's also uh, uh, much leveler on the floor of the udder and has more extension to the fore udder, like a powerhouse frame on the cow in fifth, and she goes over the cow in sixth because of her advantage in frame. Then sixth over seventh, uh, just more strength and power and width all the way through. Uh, tremendous class.